We got some big changes to Money in the Bank 2023. A Vince McMahon lawsuit has been dropped and an Attitude Era tag team have signed a new WWE deal, but it's not what you think it is. So stay tuned for the news. Money in the Bank, it's another UK premium live event. It's coming very soon, uh, but there's been some big changes to the advertised match card. So, originally, Drew McIntyre was um, advertised for the show on WWE.com. Mm -hmm. He's gone. He was drafted, right? So he it's was. not like they're not acknowledging him on TV good and proper. No, no, for sure. Um, now, th th this is a thing, and I've, I've found this with uh, some stuff that goes up on WWE.com too. Sometimes they just put superstars in there there's like little placeholders and they don't actually end up being on the show I think one of the reasons one of the things I can remember uh, from last year was I think Liv Morgan was sort of on the little uh, WWE.com thing for being announced for Survivor Series and she was never there yeah, yeah. card subject to change suckers. exactly uh, it's not just Drew who's been pulled from the show also Charlotte Flair is no longer being advertised now Ooh. if you've got tickets don't worry don't worry because your tribal chief's gonna be there now uh, yes. Roman Reigns is now advertised for money in the bank so that's a nice replacement but you would expect a lot of UK fans to be a little bit upset about Drew McIntyre yeah obviously. definitely would they break no, our hearts on. again they probably I, would. <laughs> well, I, 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 you could very, very easily re-add him if yep. he does decide to stick around. We mm -hmm. don't know what's up. Um, I was thinking about the draft thing, and it would have been really weird had he not been drafted. Even if he doesn't mm. stick around, like, you're, you're just going to um, encourage more conversation around Drew and what's going to be happening with him if you don't draft him, because he's such a big name. Yep. If they just left him off, everybody would have been like, what, oh, what's Drew? What's going on? What, what, what? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, anyway, Roman Reigns for money in the bank. But it's not just money in the bank that you're going to see your tribal chief at because Roman is now also advertised for Night of Champions, yeah. emanating, of course, from Saudi Arabia. He originally wasn't advertised for the event, but he's putting in the hours, he's putting in a bit of overtime, and he's doing two pay-per-views. Good but luck. But don't see him. You're not going to see him tomorrow night, uh, unfortunately. Makes sense, doesn't it? Because it's in, it's in Saudi Arabia, it's in Jeddah. They love having the big stars there. Yeah, exactly. And uh, I do believe we've said it multiple times. Thanks. I think this is his 1,000 days. Day, this is when the thousand day clocks over to a thousand <laughs> yeah, days. It. Yeah. It's, it's weird that he wasn't advertised yeah. when it's such a massive anniversary. It wouldn't mm. be, it, imagine if he hadn't been on the show. Imagine. The, the thousand days and he does like a a, a, a little cameo on his phone <laughs> or something. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, expect to see Roman Reigns there uh, to the surprise of absolutely nobody. Yeah. Uh, a Vince McMahon lawsuit has been dropped. Um, so it has now been reported that he is free from one of the... Um, one of the lawsuits facing both himself and WWE, they're always happening, they're always uh, dealing with legal stuff. Uh, so he's free from investor litigation in Delaware over his surprise return to WWE Inc. Um, amid those assault and hush money allegations. So shareholders leading the consolidated lawsuit agreed to drop it on Wednesday, saying that their claims became moot when McMahon agreed in late March to re repay $17.4 million. The company racked up investigating him. Um, the Payment covers the cost of the probe, not the nearly 20 odd million that McMahon allegedly paid his accusers since 2007. But that is one lawsuit which mm -hmm. is now off the table. Um, uh, but there are there are plenty more. Uh, so uh, an Attitude Era tag team have signed a new WWE deal. Don't get too excited about this one. It's just a bit of fun, right? Chaz Warrington, Glenn Ruth, you may better know them as Mosh and Thrasher of the Headbangers have signed a new deal with WWE. It's not another weird return like yes. back in in 2016? Yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. That was weird, wasn't it? They popped up on SmackDown for a few weeks. Uh, it's a nostalgia deal. No! Uh, I know, No, new no disputed tag team champions. Mosh and Thrasher. Uh, Chaz and Thrasher putting out tweets. Um, one saying, Headbangers have been offered a nostalgia contract with WWE, and now it's been signed. I can share the news. What does that mean? Glad you asked. New action figures, video games, and who knows what else. Oh. T-shirts and that's about it. But yeah. no, that's awesome for them. I really like the headbangers growing up. An action adventure game starring Chaz <laughs> and Glenn. <laughs> uh, that's what I want. Why did they even change the names? What's wrong I with Chaz know. and Glenn? I don't know. I wonder if they'll be in the next um, in the next WWE 2K game then. If uh, like new action figures, video games, maybe they I've, could be. I was thinking about this. How good would an Attitude Era tag team showcase mode Ooh. be with your like you know you, your Edge and Christians, your Dudleys, yeah. your Hardys, but. 
but maybe a bit of TNA, yeah. a bit of Too Cool, Ooh. a bit of Headbangers. That's, yeah, that sounds a bit good. Of head cheese. I'd like that. I don't yeah, think I'd we've really like seen it. much of that in the WWE games, like a focus on tag teams. It's not I think one happen. of the SmackDown versus Raw games maybe did, but Christian's an AEW. Yeah. So it's not well, as I mean, by the time he could be back. Oh, you never know. You never know. Wishful thinking, eh? But congratulations. Congrats. Get paid, headbangy boys. <laughs> All in pre-sale. Uh, the, the tickets haven't even properly gone on sale. In fact, they will have done by the time this video goes out, aren't they? Today, I think so, I think. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but pre-sales have hit 50,000. So Ooh. Tony Khan tweeting late last night. Um, Thanks to the amazing support from our fans, All In in London at Wembley Stadium just hit 50,000 tickets sold for £5.2 million. Pounds. That's $6.5 million. Remarkably, all 50K tickets sold have been in the pre-sale. General ticket on sale begins tomorrow. Great seats opening up. That's amazing. Bonkers, isn't That's it? so good. I'm so I'm genuinely so happy for them. I think uh, I think I, th I feel like it. It's almost not a surprise because uh, I think Tom said on on Twitter before that like the UK is just starved of like big wrestling shows, and we have been for a long time. We obviously got since uh, the closure of WCPW. Yeah, of course, how could I forget? And that, yeah, you know I. I'm I'm as sad as anybody. I know uh, you are. You were the biggest draw out of everybody. Yeah, we screw, don't need Kurt Angle. Mysterios, your Kurt Angles. None of them. They People all came to see you. People were paying for your general manager. I expect to see him all in, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, GM for the night. No, you could be like the Give CM, but they're like everyone's like CM Punk's coming, and then you tell yeah, and not Kenny that. Omega. Oh, I'm up for that. Jobs Congratulations to Tony Khan and all of AEW. Yes. Getting 50, it's bonkers numbers. Really, really impressive stuff. Uh, unfortunately, we are finishing things on a sour note. Um, as Booker T has addressed serious allegations towards him. You may have seen this uh, a video being shared online. It brings me no pleasure to talk about this, by the way, um, where Booker T seemingly was ordering via the DoorDash app during the end of NXT. Indy Hartwell was in the ring, um, cutting a promo, relinquishing her NXT Women's Championship. And Booker T was filmed seemingly ordering a chicken parmesan. Um, Booker T has addressed these allegations against him. Uh, he said, good for Indy Hartwell. I made sure I got the last note in that I had to say, which was when a man loves a woman, it's a beautiful thing. That's all I needed to say in that segment. The camera wasn't on me, but I get it, you have to watch yourself at times. Um, he was asked if a f if, um, if he was uh, irritated that a fan had even you know recorded this and then shared it on social media. He said, a little bit, you know, but that's on me. I've got to be on my P's and Q's, but no doubt I was trying to make sure I get my meal ready and hot because I'm gonna be out of there, bro. I had a long day. You know how long it had been since I had American food? That right there in itself should give me the right to do what the hell I wanted at that moment in time. Wow, just just doubling down on, on, on what he said. It's there, really disappointing. Know? I'm very, uh, very disappointed by Booker's actions. And um, chicken parmesan out of everything. Is it parmesan? I thought it was a parmo, like a Middlesbrough thing. <laughs> I was like, they don't have those in America. That. Is that a parmesan? <laughs> well, what is yeah. a parmesan? Is it uh, a pasta thing? It's like a pasta thing, right? Parmesan. Uh, oh, parmesan cheese. Chicken. That's chicken. Maybe it is just a parmo. Maybe it's an American parmo. Well, the story continues to develop here. Um, are you disappointed by Booger's actions? Absolutely. Like, yeah, I, appalled. Much. I mean, I, I just hearing you say those words there, I was... <laughs> It's it really funny, like, Indy's in the ring with the bell, and he's just scrolling, <laughs> he's, literally just he's literally just scrolling. Hi. And he's, as you say, he's doubled down, double shame, down. On, shame you, on you, Booker T. Tea. But I hope it was a delicious, hearty meal. <laughs> that is it from us. Thank you very, very much. If more news breaks throughout the day, uh, we will be back with it uh, for all of you. One more time, we are doing Backlash 2023 live reactions tomorrow night on YouTube. Pre-show starts at midnight. Night British summer time, which is I think 8 p.m. Eastern. You know when it starts. That's hmm. when the pre-show starts. Uh, so do come and join us. You can set a reminder: youtubecom slash slash live Lot of URLs to remember. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing you all there. Take care of yourselves. Have a great weekend, and uh, well done to Charles for all the he's, he's doing the thing. In Oh, sausage fingers. Yeah. He's, putting, he's putting his fingers in bread. <laughs> Finally! Well done, Charles! Oh, Charles! Sausage uh, fingers. Uh, have a good weekend. Enjoy the long weekend if you're in the UK. In a bit.